Hey there, you filthy animals, Mr. Dirty, back with another episode of Bullshit. And this time, I think maybe for the first time in the history of the run of this uh, particular segment that we do, we don't have ramen. This time around, our bullshit is coming by way of Hamburger Helper. And, uh, yeah. Hamburger Helper that you just microwave and eat, which means that there is dehydrated beef inside these two containers. And... We're going to be trying out the cheeseburger macaroni, which is the standard stuff that everybody's been eating since they were like children. And then we also have the ultimate cheeseburger twist. So, supposedly this is better than this? Who knows? Yeah, right there, made with real beef. That's some scary shit. This one too. Same thing. Yeah. This has me wigging out because this is basically for kids. And, um, I suppose just like the macaroni and cheese, remove lid completely. Add hot water to fill line inside middle of cup. Stir until well blended. Microwave on high, three to four minutes or until pasta is tender. Carefully remove, stir, let stand for three minutes uncovered. All right, so we've got our imaging and labeling right on the containers themselves. So after we rip the lids off, there'll be, you know, no way that we can mix up which is which. We'll know which one's cheeseburger, which one's the ultimate. So let me go throw water in these, nuke them up, and I'll be right back. We'll check out what we got. Bullshit. All right, guys, I'm back as directed. We filled these to the fill line with water, cooked them up in the nuker for about three to four minutes, let them stand for three minutes, and before we put these in there, it just looked like dehydrated pasta and cheese powder. Didn't see any dehydrated beef whatsoever, but yeah, looking in there now, bam. Magically, beef has appeared in both containers. And this is the ultimate cheeseburger twist. You can see still very soupy in there we're about to mix it up that'll thicken up and disappear and here's our macaroni as you can see both of these are still pretty tiny they didn't really plump up in the microwave I thought you know with the moisture that the noodles were gonna plump up become a little bit bigger not so much All right, we'll start with the cheeseburger macaroni you know the standard let's give this a little stir Yeah, little balls of meat that are in there kinda disturbing and the ratio seems to be off also. Like if you were to make this, you get a box of hamburger helper and a pound of beef and you make it. The ratio of noodles to beef when you make it that way, you know, it's a, it's a lot more 50-50. Here we've got a lot of cheese noodles and a few specks of beef balls going on inside of there. Alright, here we go. See what it tastes like. This is nothing like the kind that you make out of the box at home. I don't know if it's the meat, but they've definitely gone out of their way to make this taste more like cheeseburger because that first bite that I took, you could taste like pickles and mustard, a uh, tiny kind of tanginess of like ketchup, very peculiar, Yeah, very surly tasting. The beef actually has the texture and the taste of real beef like it says on the package, but yeah, whatever the flavoring is that's here with the cheese or whatnot. Yeah, very surly. It's kind of got like a dill flavor to it. I don't know, it just comes across as kind of being kind of spoiled. I don't like that at all, and that's nothing like the hamburger helper cheeseburger macaroni that you would be making from the box. I could live off this, but that's about it. Survival. I give this a 2 out of 5. <whistles> Alright, so here we go, the ultimate twist cheeseburger going on here hamburger helper stuff get a little stir and this one is still you know it's been sitting there all this time and it's still very soupy like but the same ratio of noodles to beef as you see in that big old forkful right there absolutely no beef whatsoever came up let's go in for another scoop very little bit more on the front there and I think we just lost it like nothing. There's almost no beef in this. I'm trying to scoop to the bottom. It's not like it sank to the bottom either. There's just like not a whole lot going on here. Once again, nothing like if you were making this at home out of the box. All right, that should be cooled off. Let's give this a hit and see if it has the exact same flavor as that. This is the ultimate, so it's supposed to be an upgrade. Yeah, this one doesn't have that dill flavor, the mustard and ketchup flavor going on. It doesn't have any of that, but it just reeks of cheapness. Cheap in the flavor. The cheese, like I say, it's still very soupy. So it's it doesn't have that thickness. It doesn't have the real texture and the flavor that you would expect from cheese. Especially something that says ultimate cheesy 
burger. Yeah, no. Once again, only if I had to. That's a two out of five also. This is the kind of quality that I would expect, uh, you know, coming out of Hormel or something like that. Not something with the hamburger helper branding right across the front of the package. Christ, what they put their name on this time. This is almost as bad as the, uh, the frozen packages of pre-made hamburger helper that I've had in the past. Those were really disgusting. Alright, so there you have it. It's two different kinds of hamburger helper, let's just call it bullshit. It's time around. Here it is. This is the namesake right here. This is tried and true bullshit. You had this already? Let me know what you think. Leave me a message down in the comment section. You can also follow me on Twitter at the real Mr. Dirty. As always, get out of here. Go have a rotten day.